Previously on Game of Thrones. You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. You think you can have reason with a wildling? No, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. Don't move. This oh, reunion. is my sister, Sylvie. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family, and someone in there is helping him. Andros is hiring cell swords, hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Talia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. Rodri! I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. What's up, Flo? Grown OG. I was just telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or maybe your mother? Her flower plucked is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You'll never marry either of them. Never's such an awfully long time. But let's put Sorry our happy really day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh. You won't need your sword. Not where we're going. Ooh, keep it or leave it? I'm not Take going I'm without my sword. I'm afraid you are. Here, I'll help you. <sighs> there. Oh, doesn't that feel better? Oh, you're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. Where's the rest of the town? That's what I want to know. I understand that, Joe. It is. I'm reading as you're reading your comment there. That's a, that's a tough break, bro. How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> Polite of you to ask. Oh, what a dick. <laughs> I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do. So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Ludson. Now should I know? Griff and his men are not my concern. My concerns are your concerns. I assume you forgot that when you took them prisoner. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmores. I'm not sure how uh -oh, you managed this that. This isn't good. 
The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. Lady Elena Glenmore is our guest. The soldiers accompanied her to ensure her safety. If her safety is a concern, perhaps she should not have come to Ironrath. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Me. Ah. Me. Here we are. Arthur! Roderick! You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. Please. Oh shit. Someone has this to pay. Not good. You didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. No one has to pay. Let's just keep talking. I'm bored of talking. <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> Look at what you've done. I hope it was worth it. Oh, Is it worth shit. it? Please stop! <laughs> please! Please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick! Make him stop! Oh, yeah, don't look! Please. Look at him, Talia. Oh. That sucks. See what your brother's done. Please. Please. Lord Rosie. Sorry. But they'll never learn otherwise. <laughs> Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? This is his fault. That's a lot of blood. Please stop, Lord Ramsey. <laughs> no. Everything you learn about Ramsey Bolton, he's insane. The poor lad's fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> You want to kill me, don't you? Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Do it. Your little brother had bigger balls than you. Uh, I don't know about that. I came here to kill you, but now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a holdfast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing wins. Otherwise, I'll kill you both and be done with it. You're insane. At least I'm not you. Uh oh. And when I know, I probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stab him. No! Oh, come on. Can't leave a job half finished. <laughs> <sighs> Ready the horses. Oh, my not sure God. you'll have much luck finding other allies. <laughs> but where's everybody else? Yeah, I felt like if I stabbed him, it probably wouldn't have been a good idea. We know he's going to get his in the Battle of the Bastards anyway. We all know that.
Episode 5, A Nest of Vipers. Yes, it's a rough thing to start with. You have a big death. Although he wasn't really a main character. Only a monster would do such a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. Arthur. So sorry. I keep asking myself what we've done to deserve such hate. Did we bring it on ourselves? Or is this house just cursed? Ramsay Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire North. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. By the gods, I miss the Starks. The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Duncan. But can we even fight them? We don't have the numbers. We don't yet have Ryan back. And if Mir is right about an army from the south, Right now, everything depends on Asher. Once he and Malcolm bring us more fighting men, then Where we... is he? Where is my brother? Uh-oh. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... Oh! No. No. Oh, no. No, Arthur, no! Arthur! <laughs> it's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. I'm so sorry, Elena. I know how much he meant to you. He meant everything, Roderick. He was my little brother. <laughs> we shall avenge him. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. <laughs> and now, to die. Like this. Tortured. Mutilated. Ramsay Snow did this. He's a madman. Ramsay was here because of you, Roderick. If we hadn't been your allies... Oh, man. It's almost like you can't win. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's get you someplace, Wal. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? Know that we'll have our justice someday. Justice won't bring my brother back. Yeah, that's true. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you. Whatever you need. Thank you, Roderick. Yes, thank you, Roderick.
Meanwhile, at King's Landing... Ah, there you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira, I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros in front of everybody. I feel like this is like the most uninteresting Marjorie character. Marjorie saw, of course, <laughs> and she knew exactly how you got there. Lord Andros is a threat to my family. He's plotting against them even as we speak. I believe you, but you called attention to yourself, Mira. And you angered Marjorie. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at Highgarden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. What a bitch. You know how much I need this marriage. If you abandon me, who'll be there when you need someone? I don't know. Garibald, I suppose. I'm sorry, Mira. I truly am. It's like she just completely turned on her. Like full 180. It, at least. Sacrificing so much for your family. Nothing's worth losing your friendship over, Sarah. I would have said the same thing once. To go before she sees me. She will be a forester. Uh oh. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. Try ass now in front of the soldiers. I thought you'd be happier. I'm glad he's dead. Felt good plunging the knife in at least. But it doesn't feel like I expected. It may have cost me a lot. I know. Thanks, Asha. Oh, we should sure. never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Asha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you uh, did as you were told, I don't know about that part. Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? We're about to find out. The price paid. Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asha Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. No battle is without difficulty, Your Grace. But we fulfilled your orders. All of them? Uh. I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? Your Grace, if we encountered the slave master, Dizorzo Raza, on the way to the signal tower. I regret that he lost his life. Oh, don't fucking... You admit it, then? The punishment for defying a queen is death. And yet, do you come to me for a reward? Why should I let this pass? I told Don't the you truth. dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. The man was a fucking master. He deserved to that die. That was not for you to decide. Not only did you disobey my orders, you are insolent and deceitful. 
You disappoint me, Forrester. I will not be giving you my second sons. What? But, Your Grace, the mission was a success. What did I tell you? Yeah. She was never going to help us. Your Grace, we risked our lives for you. And you risk them again with your tongue. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There must be a few cutthroats who would fight for the likes of you. Now get out. I'm terribly sorry, Your Grace. You have nothing to apologize for, Malcolm. I have other plans for you. Plans for me, what? Your Grace? I have plans for my own. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. Well, this gets interesting. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. And now you've angered yeah, he's her. Got a point. She may need some convincing. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. You'd abandon us with the White Hills at our doors. We need every sword. What's a sword to a dragon? Just think what this alliance might mean for your house. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might yeah, find no them here. Among the newly freed. <sighs> the little Queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't Sometimes care. Sometimes it's fun in don't a game. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. Yeah, that sounds about right. Meanwhile, north of the wall. Garrett Tuttle. I have to say, kind of an awkward moment. You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built, and from there we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie? We're not going north. We're going south. What? To join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look. That was always the plan, Cotter. I have to go to the North Grove. My family's depending on it. <laughs> Your family yeah, needs you to wander around in the snow until you get eaten by a dire wolf. Please, Sylvie. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why did he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Damn. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. Can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and well well things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed. Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadid a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. 
I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me neither. Yeah, that's just rough. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildies. It is real. Lord Forrester believed it. And so do I. And you're both idiots. Finn, will you come Just on, piss Finn. off. Some leader you turned out to be. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. He's going to be on his own. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Why'd you even bring me here, Cotter? You said you'd take me to the North Grove. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. Of I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. He doesn't realize if he goes south, he's dead. Crows find him, it's over. Garrett. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? That you came here to find your sister? I wanted to, but I didn't think you'd understand. I couldn't risk it. I'm sorry. How's your arm feeling? Decent, I'd say. Why'd you ask? Oh, you Does mean this one? <laughs> yeah, it's shit. <laughs> You and your sister, you, uh... You don't look much alike. The white hair and... I know what you're getting at. So you may as well just say it. I, I just wondered. She was born like that. My mother used to call her Little Moon. The rest of our village thought she was a bad omen. The better of them stayed away from her. The worse? <laughs> Let's just say I'm glad to be rid of them. What happened to your village? Did you leave? Well, not by choice. When Sylvie reached two years, they told my mother we weren't welcome anymore. <laughs> she wasn't welcome. I guess they all hoped she wouldn't survive long enough to get a name. <laughs> but she's tough, Sylvie. No way she wasn't going to make it. Why were they afraid of your sister? Same reason you southerners call us wildlings. Same reason you put up that wall to keep us out. People are arseholes. Yeah, he's got a point there. Go over to Finn here. What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Not your fault. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it'd turn out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. <laughs> like he's gonna die.
do you have? I wonder why she doesn't wear it. What else we got here? We got some sketches. Little Moon. Oh, this is that stuff Cotter was drinking. We dare drink it. Oh, well, it's not so bad. <laughs> all right, so we're all by the fire. Oh, let's make my way out. Can I do that? Yeah. It's a rabbit. Whoa! Fucking hell. Could you have been any louder? Sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor, though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, then. I think I know what she's talking about. Shadow cats and ice white spiders. Walkers. And the white walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. Shoot me in the leg, are you? I trained at Castle Black. So you're shit then. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> uh, up, up. I think you need more. Wouldn't training. let me go up though. Give me a chance to shoot here. Yes. Gotcha. <laughs> it's not much, but it'll last us. You're not half bad with a bow. Could come in handy. You ever lost anyone, Garrod? Someone you really cared about? Someone you of course. thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again? Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Do you know where it is, then? I know where they say it is. But you'd be mad to try and go there. Why is that? A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories and? that the cold couldn't touch it, that it's safe even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope, and none of them ever returned. 
Do you believe the stories? Oh, I forgot. You southerners don't believe in anything you can't see with your eyes. Damn it! It's a white walker. This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. You were a pit fighter. You speak their language. We didn't part on the best of terms. Oh, really? Let's take a look around, shall we? Mm, pretty much blood everywhere. Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. You did what?! What the fuck? Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Russia. Yes, we get a nice demon, Elias. <laughs> Your friends have been busy. Let's hope our heads don't end up here. Another one bites the dust. Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Great. Or fear. What are you leading me into, Beska? No, I warned you. But don't worry, little brother. I'll protect you. Well, if it isn't Beska, the fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can. But not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One. Two. Headbutt him. <laughs> I like this one. Hey, Amaya! <laughs> Impress the Company! <laughs> Is that a pit? Yeah, some masters couldn't get enough of the fighting, so they built their own private pits, where things could get really nasty. That's Amaya. Keep your cock in your pants, little brother. She's likely to chop it off. <laughs> well, hello there. 
Not many people get past the beast. You must need something very badly. So, yeah, out with pretty it. Pretty much. Before I decide not to let you leave. My name is Asher Forrester. I've traveled all the way from Westeros. I'd suggest you go back there. It's not safe here for outsiders. Amaya, please. Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom. You walked out on me. On all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses there. of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. You have a problem with her? Deal with me. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> <laughs> One with a bloody nose. My patience wears thin. My enemies mean to butcher my family in Westeros. They killed my father. They killed my little brother. And now I need great warriors to help me avenge their deaths and reclaim my home. You think we're cell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters. Artists who paint in blood. That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now. Free to do what you want. Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore. Why would we follow anyone ever again? The life you've led here is over. I've met the Mother of Dragons. She won't open the pits again. That's right. If you want to fight, we offer gold and glory. Amaya. The way I left was terrible, I know. But we were friends once. And could be again. Please, set aside your anger and listen to him. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know uh -oh. who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Oh. Who's the best you've got? His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look at him. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Bloodsong, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever beat him. Hmm. Right. Well, suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard? I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in so there... So me, don't sing it, bring it. Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you at least kill Bloodsong? Uh, hardly seems like a fair fight. Uh, I suppose. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. Okay. You all see this cockless Westerose? He's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me. <laughs> Let me show you how we dance in Marine. Look, this wasn't my choice. I'm not here to kill anyone. Well. We all know that's true. <laughs> oh. That's not what I mean. Choose a weapon 
and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter Come win. On. The best would be me. Here, use this. It's like I'm fighting Killik in uh, Soul Calibur. Are you ready, Westerosi? This is gonna hurt! Oh. Yours would be a beautiful death! Isn't that something you'd like to say? Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting! I think I can, actually. For that, you die slow. That's no weapon worthy of blood song. See if you're still smiling after I break your face. Surprised you can lift it. Still up. Channel my inner Negan. Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy. He's not even trying to kill him. Quick head butt. Still in the game. Ready! Westerosi! Don't hold back! Don't intend to! Look at this terrified boy! He fears his end, as he should! Oh, he's got a... One for submission. for sport! They're unimpressed? Come on. The masters who once held your chains decided who lived and who died. But as you can see, I'm not here to be your master. I chose you for a reason! You're true warriors! True warriors. warriors I admire and respect! You deserve better than this! You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment! Fight with me and it won't just be for sport! 
You'll fight for a higher purpose! To save innocence and murder the guilty! If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn! And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! I love it. I knew them! What are those things? Oh, God, get over here! Over here! Another one? Yep, that's not gonna stop them. They won't die! These are dragons. Anything can be killed! Come on, Finn. Why are you rushing my head? Yep, see you later. Oh, someone! Your Grace. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in. I don't know what you mean, Your Grace. I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the Crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. I try to be, Your Grace. Hmm, I see. I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? 
It can't have been easy. I asked a friend to help me. I see. Then you're not above using people to get what you want. That's about what Cersei does. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady I'm Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. I have before, Your Grace. And I would again. You are resourceful, aren't you? Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. I, I guess I could, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. Oh, you I never are. liked the man anyway. And I doubt anyone will miss him. The plot thickens. You think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. Ever since you left me to that dragon, I've given a lot of thought to staying here. Leaving you to your Westeros and your Foresters. You have? <sighs> I was angry, but you're my family, no matter what. I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. Think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat come. and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. There's no spoils without victory. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Victory is all we know. I'll show them their beds. I'll be there in a moment. Glad you made it. What choice did I have? You denied me an honorable death. So I must find one in Westeros. <laughs> Lesko wasn't prick. exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you found your soldiers. Ironrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What does Daenerys want from you? She has a mission for me. But beyond that, she's told me nothing. If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made True. a better man of you, nephew. There's nothing I can say to make you change your mind. I've made my decision. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with the... Uh, no, I didn't know I <laughs> My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. 
iron from ice. Casting off! Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Well, it doesn't help very much. Ah, oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. I thought we were friends, Lord Tyrion. I thought so as well. Yet, here you are. You brought wine. How thoughtful of you. And you didn't even have to hide it. You brought a fly swatter too. What all the flies, I see. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's oh, Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. <laughs> Me too. You and Podrick. I have to admit, I love Tyrion. I've always admired you. One of my honestly, favorite characters on the show. But I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. Ah. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> I'm afraid not, unfortunately. Unfortunate for us both. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I the know I'm not is wrong. Listening. The truth, Mira. I don't know what you're talking about. She did no such thing. The guards have never let anyone in with wine. That was your first mistake. Not that I don't appreciate the gesture. I wish you'd had the courage to tell me the truth. Not that I'm above drinking her wine. I told you to be careful. You'll twist your words. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Back off, Lucan. Watch your tongue, girl. We're not done talking, you imbecile. Give us a moment. Mm. Imp. <laughs> what did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you, and will continue to do so, until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. To be honest, I don't care what Lady Marjorie thinks of me. Hmm. I thought you were smarter than that. Without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> yeah, what should sure. I tell Cersei? You're a clever girl. I'm sure you'll think of something. Although I would suggest you choose your words carefully. Cersei will be far less amused if she catches you in a lie. I have to give her a list of names. Tell her I'll call Shagger, son of Dolph from the Mountain Clans. Oh, and Timid, and Chella, and the, the Scepter who raised me, assuming she's still alive. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! 
Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Must you leave? Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. You didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few oh, weeks. Well. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. I've never felt more certain about anything. I'm glad. I wasn't sure if you... With all that's happened... What will we do now? Now that we're... Uh, what we are. We enjoy what we have. For as long as we can. I plan to. Roderick? Oh! I'm sorry! I thought you were alone! Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh, I, I didn't realize you two were... Talia, what's so important? It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's, it's alright. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon. I think soon. she's about I to hope. say who it is. All right, then. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares, so I... Go on, Talia. I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill garrison are being held? It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... Talia, where did you get this? The man I saw, he stashed it in the knot hole of an old stump. Like he'd done it before. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal oh. with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. It's your duty to tell me. And mine to pass judgment. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you, as your sister... I give you my word, Talia. The traitor will get what he deserves. Now, tell me. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. Oh boy. The moment of truth. Go get the guns. Hey! Oh, my lord. You scared the bloody daylights out. Sir Royland. What's that? You tell me. 
You don't scare me, Roderick. I've known you since you were a boy. You sold your loyalty like some whore in the street. My loyalty has always been to this house. But you've been too damn blind to see it. Now, what I didn't see is that you were a traitor. You pushed me to this, Roderick. I trusted you, Roland. With my life. Chap, you'll trust anyone who makes the right noises. You know why? Because you're weak. You're weak. Just like Ethan was. Making Duncan his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. Ethan was a fool. And you've been making fool choices too since the day you crawled off that corpse cart. Letting Griff force you to the ground without a shred of dignity. Going to High Point without any soldiers, despite my every warning. Hell, you even managed to get Arthur killed. Enough, Roiland. You've had every opportunity to save this family, but you've squandered them all. Your father Then this guy sold us out. So you turn your cloak. That's your answer. I'm not going to stand by and watch you destroy this family. You're driving House Forrester the way of the Starks. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to all I swore to your father. I'd swear to Asher if he were here. But you're a cripple who can barely hold a sword. Asher knows how to act. All you do is limp between defeats. Asher would cut your traitor heart out. Oh, I don't doubt it. He has more balls than you ever will. Roderick, it's Griff. He's gone. Somebody set him free. Was this your doing? They were going to ambush you at the trade. I just saved your life. But Ryan... Ryan, how could you? This was his doing. Just sentence me and be done with it. Roderick, you promised. Kill me. And Asher dies too. <laughs> That's how we deal with traitors. No! It was the right thing. What Roiland said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. The Lord, what do we do? Prepare the horses. We're gonna defend my brother. Throw the cane down, have the sword, and here we go. Smell that. We're almost there, Beska. Let's have a look. Come on, break it up! Save your lovemaking for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your lord brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Iron Wrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. A lord sounds an awful lot like a master. Roderick. He's the lord of the house, and he's been bred for it. I understand, but these men and women have journeyed here to follow you, not him. Oh, you'll see when you meet him. Doesn't matter if he can't fight like he used to. All men learn to love Roderick. Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off what? fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it?
So, this is Westeros. Ugly and small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. <laughs> Winter is coming. Asha, thank the gods you've made it back. Good to see you, my lord. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord's got something planned. I don't know what yet, but it won't be good. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Can use a good fight. What? since I killed any White Hills. from ice. Go! You bastard! Mesca. You're fucking leaving me? What the fuck am I supposed to do? I came here for you! Stay by my brother's side. He's your family now. I will, little brother. Fucking hearts out! 